We are back with yet another Starbase summary. No funny business this time. Kicking it right off with some work on the flame deflectors over here. I don't know if that uh, rusty-looking beam they're putting in is temporary or potentially just for transport. I guess we're going to find out, but quite a few folks up there on top of them getting them ready to go. Hey, a bunch of feedback last video about that drive through that Jack did. More scrap over there, that's Ship 32. Um, what do y'all think about this? Help me out. Should we do a drive through video where the whole thing is just a drive through but instead of super speed, whoa, whoa, it's like bending in half. I want one of those tiles. Um, instead of like super speed time lapse, we do like a more normal speed or a variable speed where if there's nothing, we speed up some and we slow down, we actually look side to side and explain the everything in one, the everything in Starbase in one sort of one sort of take. I think it'd be really interesting to do. So uh, let me know down below if you think that's a good idea or if that's a terrible idea I've had this morning. A little bird, a little bird just running around. I can't identify it from the silhouette though. <laughs> Star Factory at night, uh, rocket viewers delight. <laughs> okay, whatever. See some uh, the barrel section back there with some tiles on it. Looking in part of this, we got. What do we have? Some pins back there. It looks like no tiles on that part. Bunch of boxes on the ground. That big white box. If you don't zoom in too much, like looks sort of wider and you can see the white box in there that's that Starlink loader. Didn't fit through those doors. Oh look! It says dummy Starlinks on the label I think I would like to propose to you, the viewer, we call them star lumps. Because dummy, like, dummy sounds like, eh, that doesn't really sound right, right? But a star lump, it's like, eh, it's got Starlink in there. It's most of the same words. Oh look at that. Raptor Nest Engine Staging. <laughs> well, it's funny that there's Starlinks there. But anyways, uh, I, I think I will try to start calling them Star Lumps instead of Dumb Links or Star whatever. I think that's a good thing to call them. Got some domes back in there. More sections. Oh, look at that. There's a skinnier piece over on the left-hand side. Is that going to be like a... Uh, not downcomer. Shouldn't say that. I was very confused for a second, and then I realized that this was drone footage from outside the TFR. The TFR doesn't go all the way over uh, to this part. There's a gap between the Starbase proper TFR and the Massey's site TFR. So there are parts where you can sort of uh, be in the gap between the two, and Rio West is one of them. Here is the... Rio West development. Heard a lot of different things that this may end up being. It's going to be housing. Is it going to be grocery stores? Are they going to be open to the public or not? And it seems like the plan has been changing quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to see what those actually turn out to be, but they continue working on them. Mary picked up a couple shots of the launch area here. Pad A and then Pad B was over on the side in the previous shot. There's hippos and tankage and the launch mount. Chopsticks pointing at you here. Got some uh, high-pressure cryo trailers in the bottom of that shot. Pad B. You can see the work's really happening around Pad B. All the cranes and lifts and everything going on. It looks much more active. A lot of work on the ground as well. You see the uh, cement mixers down there spinning away. That's the point where somebody in chat's going to correct me and be like, actually, those are dry, wet concrete tumblers. And I'm like, well, you know. I was driving down the road, I'd be like, oh, look, that's a cement mixer. All right, cool. I wouldn't know the difference. Hey, there's one of those, the plates. Look, if you go back, there was the plate. Remember the last video where I was like, oh, it's a dangling plate with holes in it. Uh, gusset plate. You could actually see it installed there. Was that the exact same plate? I'm not sure, but it's the same sort of principle there at a diagonal on the tower. Scroll back if, if you're interested in what I was talking about. It was on the left-hand side. There's those stands we've seen them putting in with the holes in the middle of them. Oh, and also the red things. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have some close-up video of the red things here, but a lot of folks, wow. That work is never going to be done. <laughs> Cleaning the windows one at a time, the work is never going to be done. But uh, if those red things come back up, most of the comments seemed to agree that the red things were uh, remote-operated valve actuators. 
and potentially valve actuators that work on cryogenic fluids. So you have to have the actuator away from the actual piping or the cryo, the cryo fluid that it's managing, right? Because the fluid's cold and you don't want your actuator to freeze. So that's uh, what the general consensus in the comments was. I didn't find like a part number or any picture that looked exactly like those brontosaurus ribs again and the mural work continues you see this almost every video as, as they sort of move on with this work but i was not able to find that exact uh, part number or a picture of something that looked exactly like that and there was a lot of discussion on why they were painted red like sometimes your safety critical stuff may have different bright colors like that over it this is massey's real quick just a quick shot so were those some sort of cr safety critical features? Were they some sort of auto shut off? Did they have a default state where they would actually uh, slam closed with a spring or something like that, but they're separated away so that they don't freeze into position and they can actually stop that? There's a whole lot of uh, information, sort of guesstimation discussion down in the comments on the previous video. But if anybody finds something that looks exactly like those ones that are installed, Tell me the model number or the brand name or something down in the comments because I would love to go and just verify. Like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. See, I could talk about other topics because that said a grackle, <laughs> grackles in a tree. <laughs> and didn't it, what did it say? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? Man, I don't know if a grackle in the hand is worth anything, honestly. <sighs> they just make a lot of noise and flock around dumpsters. Well, every type of bird loves a free meal. It's very evolutionarily uh, efficient to just eat out of the trash can, apparently. Why work for your food when it's just right there waiting for you <laughs> in the chap trash can? Hey, look! That's the chops pad, chop pad, pad B chopstick moving. From this perspective, it's on our right, but from the tower's perspective, it's the left chopstick. Moving for what we sort of observed as the first time there, or the first actual motion, straps got undone and that sort of stuff, right? Just moving around. From this perspective, this is going to be the right-hand one. What are we zooming in on? Enhance. We're looking. I, I didn't see exactly what they were doing. At least they weren't carrying a bundle of flowers that I thought was a label maker <laughs> last video. <laughs> oh, we got it from both sides here. Nice. Oh, look, look, do you see the pavement? Do you see how the line is actually bent? I don't even think Jack meant this to be the shot. Maybe he did because Jack pays attention to this stuff like that. You can see how the line bent. It's like a poorly photoshopped uh, photo of somebody's waist. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can tell it was smeared a little bit because the line is, is bent now. <laughs> uh, as the heavy load rolls down the road and actually squishes the asphalt out the side. Pad B's launch mount, Pad B's flame deflector, all the usual suspects here. We check on them occasionally as progress continues. Now, okay, that beam has moved. I thought they were sort of permanently installing the beam. That has cardboard taped to the bottom of it, like Granger boxes and stuff taped to the bottom of that beam. There's two beams together, apparently. Now, is this for transport, or are they doing something specific with this? Are they putting, is this like a jig to draw a line and cut them straight? Or what exactly, maybe they're lining them up, like they put it in there, and then they clamp it together, and they, they line them all up before they finally attach them? That is very curious. It's delightfully rigged together from things that they had that would do the job, and I am a fan of things that get the job done. I mean, with things on either side, it, re it really does look like they, they're pinching those together to align them or something. Maybe for like a final weld together or something. I don't know. I do like I do like seeing stuff like that, and it's really cool. A lot of times it's like, oh, here is the thingy w m m bobber that specifically does this one very detailed task, but that's all that it does. Like if you've ever, <laughs> what, <laughs> taken a... Taken a hub out of a car and you have like a hub puller right or a bearing puller or something it's like the only thing this tool is good for is pulling this one bearing out of this one size of this one sort of thing right i don't know if that's a good decision i doubt very many people have ever done that a good example it's a little off the rails but anyways i i like seeing things that it's like 
well, there's not really a tool that exists to do this specific thing, so we're just going to slap a couple rusty beams together, tape them, put some cardboard on it, and call it a day. There's yet another rusty beam. Every time I see a rusty beam, I'm like, what's up with that rusty beam? Anyways, Pez Stand. That is the stand that we've seen. I'm sort of... Uh, is transporting really the right word? Working on... I'm not sure what the right word there would be. But the uh, star lumps. There's those big cables already starting to sing their song. Oh, a bunch of cameras on the left-hand side. Nice. Got some red tarps. More work around that railing there. And there you can see some angled gusset plates, right? But they're doing a lot of work. I wonder if something's misaligned or they have to re-add something or I wonder what all that attention is on that little corner. Anyways. Just continuing to work. I really wish I had a camera that was like on a 50-foot uh, you know, pole or something like that, a tower. It would wave too much of the wind down there is the problem. There's the red... The red uh, Ad ad adequators? That's not the right word. <laughs> Activators? Oh no, now I've lost the word. What was the word? Oh no, I, I literally can't. What in tarnation is that? It looks like a snowman being taken, taken to the snowman morgue or something. It's insulation? Is it leaving? Why would it show up in that sort of format? It looks like ice, but it's got to be some sort of sprayed on lumpy insulation or something. No, I still can't remember the word. I'm like stuck on activator now, and I know that that's not the word. It starts with an A. Y'all, you know how that happens, right? You've, you've got a word, and you're like, oh, yeah, I've said the word 15,000 times, and then all of a sudden you cannot think of the word. Like, I could literally scroll back in the video and just find the word. <laughs> but... <sighs> oh, what's going on there? Gantry part. A pad B gantry part being lifted around. A bunch of flying rats. Space Coast style, or I guess Gulf style there on the concrete barrier. Are they... I think that's just a perspective thing. It almost looked like they were lifting. Actuators! <laughs> it actually is actuators. Actuators. There's red actuators being lifted in there. And that's the word that I was trying to think of. Thank you. Look, there you go. <laughs> Saved by the last clip in the video. Folks, it's a Starbase Summary. We do it usually twice a week. We have it in a couple different languages. Click the little settings over there if you want to listen in German or Spanish or just turn off the commentary and listen to the ambient sounds of Starbase. But that's going to do it for this one. My name is John. Thanks to everybody for hanging out, and I will see you nerds later.